What's up, everybody? Today on Davy Jones Locker, I'm hanging out with my buddy Doug. We're over here at ProTech Racing in Missouri Town, Florida. Uh, he's got a big block Mopar. We're going to put it up on a dynamometer today. No, the truck truck's not going on the dyno today. That's going to be uh, in the future, but the project is uh, coming right along. I've been doing a lot of homework with the truck and selecting components, so that's going to be happening in the future. And here we are. Is the truck car up on the dyno? Like on the ground. Big block stroker. All kinds of fun stuff. How you doing, Doug? You ready for this? You excited? If I don't run over the crank, yeah. <laughs> if you don't run. I don't think you're gonna run over here, but you do have to sweep up your own back. Oh yeah, we don't want to shatter anything. Cool stuff. Hey, check this out. He's got a cataram or something very similar to it. Does a lot of SCCA racing out of here. Lots and lots of Volkswagen stuff. Neat stuff. Okay, so this Plymouth Fury has a stroked out 440. It's well over 500 inches. We should be in the ballpark at 750 horsepower. And uh, right now it seems to be a little down on power per the ET for the weight of the vehicle. Um, but that's why we're here. We're going to try and get it sorted out and see if we can't get this thing putting out what it's supposed to put out. I know Doug would be one happy guy if it put up well over 700 horsepower. Uh, let's see how it goes. So we're going to do dyno pulls in third gear from 3,000 RPM to roughly 65, 68. 4 jack to get the job done and looks like we're getting ready to warm up everything again everything is synced we're good to go First run got about 650 horsepower on the pavement. Uh, we're going to go ahead and give it another shot. This time he's going to actually measure for parasitic loss in the drivetrain. And we're going to see how she does.
What you think, Mike? Well, I, I, I need a couple pulls on it. Okay. Do about three. Okay. And then uh, let me make sure I got this. Uh, what? It didn't, it didn't go back to my. Oh, 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 angle line. I wasn't there. I wasn't synced the first one. Did you get a graph of the AFR? I all? will in a second. Okay. It, it, did, it didn't sync. <coughs> okay. I will get a graph. It's a pretty short pull though, so let me see what we got here. 928. Let me read. Alright, let's see what we got here. I gotta, I gotta, I gotta attack it again here. It says 184. Okay, that sounds what gears in it? Uh 410. Okay, should be about right there, gear. 184 with a 30, 32s. Tim Stark? 20, 26. 26. All right, spin it up again. We'll get a better read uh, Well, technical difficulties, and sometimes these things happen. Uh, today, the, the horsepower gods decided not to look down on us and smile. Instead, we got the the big old middle finger. Um, had some issues with syncing up the dyno. Got some inconsistent numbers, um, but did get that couple of good runs in. Had a good time, and. Um, it's one of those things that was simply spur of the moment. I was driving by and saw my buddy pull into the shop and was making a U-turn and pulling back, whipping out my cell phone and shooting the video from the hip. Um, had a good time, but um, man, I wish we could have gotten a little more concrete and set up and done a little more tuning. Now, once the car came down off the dyno, we pulled a plug out of it to read it because he just put them in before he ran a couple of passes. That car was running super, super lean. Um, he actually jetted up. Um, another six sizes on the secondaries just because it was that lean and that starved of fuel um, And that's after having gone from an 850 CFM demon carburetor up to like an 1100 CFM dominator I mean the car just it, that motor just wants so much fuel. It's it's a it's a rowdy 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 big block and um, It'll be back. There's no doubt about that. It'll actually it'll it'll be back on the dyno as soon as possible but um, like I said these things happen, and um, it'll it'll happen. We'll, we'll we'll get back to it. I'm sure Doug is gonna 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 be all about it. Um, this thing, this car should go, this car should go deep into the nines, deep deep into the nines. Even maybe even an eight second pass. I wouldn't be surprised if it can get it to stick. So I got faith in him, and uh, thank you for tuning in. And we'll keep everybody updated on all the projects and things that I have going on around my house and. I'll keep shooting videos with my friends and, and hanging out and just doing whatever we do. And um, I guess uh, I guess I'll catch up with you next time. Thank you.